Man, when the weather is nice like this, I love to break out the food, the drinks, and the yard games. You know, things like bocce ball, croquet, as well as horseshoes. It's a great way for you to make the most out of your backyard. Bago is a board game that you play by tossing bean bags from one side to the other and you compete against another team. And you really don't even have to be that good to have fun at it. I hold it in the center of my hand, pinch the middle, and I take a step and I throw it. So it's like, it's almost like a golf swing. We play for fun. I'm not the best Bago player, but um, I do the underhanded toss. If you get one in the hole, it's three points. If you get one on the board, it's one point. And the points will cancel each other out. So for example, like I throw three in the hole and my opponent throws three in the hole. The total for that round would be zero points. And you play until you get to 21. Bocce, it's the game I'm still trying to understand completely, but you know, it's backyard rules. It's, it's obviously something that you know, anybody can play. You don't have to be an athlete or anything like that. My husband played in a tournament five or six years ago. He and his friend won the tournament, so it got him motivated when we bought a house to mow a court in our backyard, and then we've just been playing ever since and gotten our friends involved. With our court, the terrain is kind of rolling, so you kind of have to play the breaks in it, almost like golf with putting, and just try to get your ball close as you can to the Polino. Basically, you have a ball that's called the Polino, and we call it the Peel for short, but you just roll it down the court, and it's just a little ball. Try to get the closest to the white pill that you can. If you have two closer than any of theirs, or three closer than any of the opponents, then you get two points or three points. You can get up to four points. So occasionally we use a tape measure to see who's closest if there's two that look like they're similar distance. And then the first one to 15 wins. Everybody's called a horseshoe pitcher. It's pitching horseshoes. I have pitched horseshoes since I was in high school. We used to go out at lunch hour and pitch horseshoes, and I've been doing it ever since. There are people who turn a shoe. There's people who flip a shoe. I flip mine. First rule in the book is taking off the horse before you start to throw it. And then you take the horseshoe and you just try to throw that thing around the stake, and that's a ringer. A ringer is three, a close shoe is one, if it's within six inches of the stake. Because I throw the side shoe, I like, to, like for it to be a little wider, because sometimes they're not as wide. You have to really, really look and see which shoe fits you. Well, it's good exercise. As I like for the camaraderie, just have good fun. It's good competition. Mm -hmm. 